Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you what is a passphrase and how to set it up on your Ledger Nano X. Crypto wallets uh, use the recovery, um, recovery phrase or seed phrase, whatever you want to call it, these 12 to 24 uh, human readable words that are used to later on generate uh, private keys that are used to access your assets in the blockchain. So basically to access your money, in short words. Now, um, what's important to notice here that is that whenever you type in the same recovery phrase on any device, the same privacy keys will be generated. Um, and um, a passphrase is sort of like a additional fifth, uh, 25th word, or if you have 12 words, then it will be 23rd, uh, I mean 13th, um, just uh, additional word that can be set by you and is caps, um, is case sensitive, so capitalization matters here. Also, is space sensitive, can have special symbols and doesn't really have to be a word from the dictionary. Um, and it generates a sub wallet for uh, that recovery phrase. Uh, so you can, for example, use both. You can use the one without the uh, passphrase and one with the passphrase. And they can be used both, I think, on this device. We'll find out in a moment because I've used other Ledger wallets. I didn't set a passphrase on this one ever, so we'll see about that. But uh, typically, it can be used to either secure your wallet even more. So even if someone gets access to your recovery phrase, then you can, for example, not have any money on the wallet generated with the recovery phrase without the passphrase and you can have some money on a wallet that has both a recovery phrase and a passphrase. And you can generate unlimited amount, uh, numbers of different wallets with different passphrase, but they all can be based on the same recovery phrase. I think it's quite great. And you may or may not use your wallet without the passphrase. Now to set it up, Press and hold on both buttons at once to open the control center, then press on both to go to settings, and now go to security, press on both, and then go down to passphrase, press on both, then go to the right twice, press on both, and now you can set two different options, attach to pin or set as temporary. The temporary option, which you, uh, lets you enter your passphrase now, and once you lock the device, it will go back to the mm, wallet without a passphrase. Um, so that's quite great, but you can also attach it to a pin. If you do it, you will be able to set a different pin for the wallet with a passphrase. So you can have um, like two different pins to access two different wallets. One with, one without a pass, passphrase and the passphrase modifies the private keys generated so different ones are generated i'm gonna attach it to a pin just press on two buttons at once then choose a passphrase pin so i'm gonna set it to something simple but of course don't share your pin with every anyone and uh, make it something that's actually hard to guess then i'm gonna confirm it Now let's enter the passphrase and you will see it's quite difficult. So first you'll need to select whether it's a special sign or a number, capital letter, letter or a small letter. Let's select capital letter now and now select which letter exactly. Now I'll go back to selection of capitalization, then I'll add another word, uh, letters, right? Uh, 
Then I'll also go back to capitalization selection. You can see the special signs are also available here, of course. And I'm also all, almost done. Um, and here it shows just a few symbols, but I think there can be more entered. Yes, because uh, I think that the passphrase supports from 1 up to 30, 31 or 32 symbols, something about that. So that's quite great. Now you'll need to go to approve, uh, which was the right here. There's also the backwards delete, of course. Now, I'll need to confirm the passphrase. Okay, just like to see if it was entered correctly. And it's pretty important because <coughs> if you enter it incorrectly, but remember the correct passphrase you were about to add, then if you later on enter it correctly, you'll just uh, stumble across a wallet with no money. And you won't know on which like where was the mistake so it's very important to confirm it now let's also confirm it with the current pin so this is the pin to the wallet you're logged in right now now it's processing and now my passphrase is set so let's approve it now I'll need to lock the screen and to be honest, I don't really know how to lock the screen uh, on this device, so I'll try to do that. Okay, lock device. No press on anything and I can enter that other pin to access my assets from a different wallet basically. And now it's done and um, the temporary pin I've already explained so I don't think I need to do that and I hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one